Hey, I'm Tyler Hackbarth. We're here in Wyoming, Wisconsin. This is Wolf River Forge. Here's my shop. My forge, all handmade, lined with refractory cement and fire brick. And that's been working out for me since I started. My 150 pound anvil here, I didn't have the money to buy one, so I actually had an extra hunting rifle that I traded for this anvil. In the military, you plan and you prepare for exactly how you're gonna do everything step by step. And that's the most important thing that I brought into this competition. My name is Gene Hodges. We're here in Springfield, Virginia. And you're here in my garage where I do all kinds of stuff. I try to use every square inch of available space in this little garage. Nothing too sexy in here. We'll go take a look at the front porch. We call this Gene and Nina's party porch. So Gene, my wife Nina, the spring and summer, we're always out here in the evenings and having a good time. Come on this way. This is where I store my canoe. I call it Montana Cedar Strip canoe that I built. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail is my dream to do with it. This is my baby. <laughs> my homemade log splitter forging press. This does the majority of my work when it comes to forging Damascus and really drawing blades out. This is 90 layer Damascus paring slash utility knife. This is my passion, making Damascus. I've always been an artistic person, so every single Damascus piece you make is one of a kind. So bladesmithing allows me to make something that's a one of a kind piece of functional art. This is my shop here. Thanks for checking it out, and it's time for me to get to work. Take a look at Liberty Forge. Outdoor little lean-to I built with my dad about seven years ago. Old Peter Wright anvil, I'm pretty proud of that old anvil. It's old and it's worn, kind of like me. Quenching tank over here for a sword, perfect for a sword. I got lucky on that. My coal box, if I'm firing up the coal forge. What the Marine Corps taught me is Marines don't give up and to adapt, adjust, and overcome. You can have a plan. You're going to run into walls. You're going to run into errors and mistakes. And you just have to be able to get around those and think fast. All right, that's it. Thanks for checking out my place. Thanks for watching Forge and Fire on History. Click the subscribe button for more videos.